I broke my back. What do you mean by that? You my broke back, back is broken. What a, a vertebrae or, or well, what portion? Spinal. I broke my back. Spinal. <laughs> in today's video, we go over how CJ McCollum grew five inches in high school. Make sure to watch until the end of the video as we'll be taking a detailed look into the shocking growth spurt. Selected with the 10th overall pick in the 2013 NBA Draft and a superstar of basketball, Christian James McCollum was born on September 19, 1991. The American professional player and sharpshooter has come a long way to achieve what he has today. He is the youngest of two children. His parents, Eric McCollum and Kathy, provided full support and encouragement after they realized that both their sons were interested in playing basketball professionally. From the time he got drafted until now, he has worked really hard to prove his talent and eventually blossomed into one of the top players in the league. He showed great improvement over the years with his remarkable shooting skills and record-breaking points. As he came from a mid-major school, he already knew that he had to work day and night if he wanted to fulfill his dreams, and undoubtedly, he's proven himself by polishing his skills with hard work and resiliency. CJ McCollum, now 6 feet 4 and playing for the Portland Trailblazers, didn't always have height, and that was one of the biggest hurdles he faced in his entire career. Though everyone wants to grow tall and look like a giant with big muscles, this is a mandatory factor to become successful or even to enter into the basketball world professionally. Tall players have always dominated the basketball game. Some of them inherit genes with traits of tallness, and some work really hard to achieve the goal. According to NBA.com, the average height of a player during the 2007-2008 season was 6 feet 6 inches, with Yao Ming being the tallest at 7 feet 6 inches and Nate Robinson being the shortest at 5 feet 9 inches. As you know, every human goes through a growth spurt when puberty hits. Some go through just one growth spurt, but some hit it many times, which totally depends on your genes. When we talk about the basketball world, extremeness of height has been seen from Muggsy Bogues to Minute Bowl. Every player has shown a great wingspan and reach due to their tall height. The career of a player can depend on his height, because the closer a person is to the height standard, the more accurate a shot can be made with less force to propel the ball into the basket. Moreover, while playing basketball, being taller helps you a lot to reach your goal on both the defensive and offensive ends of the court. Many players who made their way to the NBA were genetically gifted, like Michael Jordan who jumped from 5'11 to 6'6 during his junior year in high school, and later the revolution and name he gave to basketball does not need to be told as it is history. Same was the case for CJ McCollum, who was just 5'2 as a freshman in high school. He was tiny and the smallest player on the court, and as a point guard, he was always seen playing like a pro to cover for his lack of height. He was only expecting to grow one more foot by the next year. With short height and big goals, McCollum was upset for being diminutive, and he was seriously concerned about his career after seeing taller players around him all the time. This could have discouraged him to give up on his dreams, but the opposite happened when he started working tirelessly to improve his game to compensate for his short height with a good skill set. With great dynamics and energetic gameplay abilities, McCollum started playing in his first year of high school back in 2005 despite not having the desired height. McCollum, who made his way, made it for a reason, as he knew he was below average of 6'6 from the start. That's why he already had something in his game that no one else had. Then, he was genetically gifted at the perfect timing in his career. Puberty hit him hard. His growth spurt was not dramatic, but it appeared at the right time. Prominently undersized, standing at only 5'2", playing high school basketball for Glen Oak High School in Canton, Ohio, relying on his athleticism, he played varsity for the Golden Eagles. Then finally, a late growth spurt benefited him a lot when he gained 5 inches by his second year and 4 inches in his third year of high school. From looking like a hobbit among humans to an enthusiastic and energetic tall player with a bright career ahead was definitely admirable. Though he grew 5 inches from 5'2 to 5'7 during his sophomore year, he didn't put a full stop there, and his growth hormones continued to emerge more than normal which caused him to grow four more inches and reach to 5'11 during his junior year. With a 5'11 height, McCollum was still in desperate need to grow his height further to achieve his goal. And to his good luck, this crazy growth spurt story didn't end there, because he grew once again between his senior year in high school and the initial days of his college career to a height of 6 feet 4 inches. During the initial days of his high school career, no one imagined that this small kid would go through such a sudden growth spurt and would be 6 foot 4 as an adult. It was all due to a significant growth spurt he went through, otherwise he wouldn't be able to enter the league and start a professional career. 
So at the conclusion of his senior year in high school, he became a top scorer with 1,405 points, and Gatorade named him the Ohio Player of the Year. As soon as he completed his high school education, he grew to be a tall athlete with remarkable achievements under his belt. During his school days, he worked really hard to refine his shooting skills, and his efforts were reflected in his scores when he averaged 29.3 points per game during his senior year. Growing to be a tall athlete, he continued to become the leading scorer in Golden Eagle history and emerged as a versatile, prolific, and athletic guard at the start of his college career. With a wingspan of 6'6", six six, he was recruited by Lehigh University, where he played for four seasons from 2009 to 2013, and he made an immediate impact on the basketball court. During his freshman year in college, he scored 19.1 points per game and led the Patriots to record-breaking achievements by receiving conference player plus Rookie of the Year honors. McCollum led his team to the NCAA tournament, but they lost in the first round. In his second year, he scored 21.8 points per game and received first-team all-conference honors, but didn't get named conference player of the year. McCollum continued to improve his game by overcoming all the hurdles with his head high. He received Patriot League Player of the Year award and other first-team all-conference honors. At that time, he continued his passion of basketball, but didn't ignore his studies, though he could have left his studies to enter into the NBA, as pundits viewed him as a top pick in the NBA draft, but he preferred to complete college before starting his career. That's why today, he's not only making his mark in basketball, but also doing various incredible things related to journalism. He's written articles regarding the NBA for many media outlets, and as a cherry on top, has interviewed the commissioner of the league, Adam Silver, since McCollum is a famous philanthropist and radio figure. Being the first Lehigh University student who started his professional career through the NBA, he made his debut for the Portland Trailblazers and played for their summer league after signing a contract. But to his bad luck, before the season began, he got injured badly, and he had to undergo treatments, so he made his debut in 2014, despite being selected in 2013. During his first season, he only played 38 games due to a six-week break with an average score of 5.3 points per game. He was trying hard to bring his offensive production to the table, but failed again in the next season when he played 78 games and only averaged 6.8 points per game. He was determined to achieve his goal, so he kept practicing hard during the offseason and appeared next season as a top player for the Blazers by stepping into a bigger role and boosted his shooting skills with 20.8 points per game and a lot more confidence, which made him a scorer in Portland. At the end of the season, he won the award for most improved player. In the next season, he took his skills to the next level by becoming part of one of the best backcourts in the NBA. As a point guard, he was working tirelessly to improve his mid and long range shooting and was able to drive to the basket as well, which was the result of that crazy growth spurt along with practice. By that time, he was a threat on offense, so he established himself as one of the Western Conference's top players. Now, it's his fifth straight season in which he's averaged 20 or more points per game. Recently, CJ McCollum visited Lehigh University and talked about his high school career to inspire teens taking part in the LEAD program, which stands for Leadership, Education, and Development. He shared his struggles and told students about what he felt when he realized that his goals were unrealistic due to his short height and how his parents supported him in those tough times. He stated, I will never forget the time when my middle school teacher told me that I had very low chances of becoming a professional athlete. She gave me the percentage. She gave me the breakdown. But I remained hopeful and kept telling her that one day you are going to request for me to come back and speak to students. And see, the rest is history now. He said, even though I was too short to achieve my goal, I focused on my athletic performance. He added, I was Eric's brother, but no one knew my name. His older brother, Eric, was point guard during his school days. McCollum used to say to him, you are going to be CJ's little brother. And Eric used to laugh and say, if I am CJ's brother, then it means I did my job. That's how Eric supported him, to put him in a position to be successful. Now, McCollum is famous for being able to create his offense one-on-one -on -one and for using ball screens. He kept improving his ability to get into the paint by changing speed and direction continuously without giving a hint to his opponent's players. A crafty shot maker with a great skill level of basketball, McCollum was once a hopeless student waiting for a miracle as his height was not in his control. But despite that, he did his best to control the things which he could, and then the blessing came to vanish that big obstacle of short height. His crazy growth spurt and the time before that when he was a struggling kid taught many inspirational lessons to diminutive young players hoping for a miracle. 
in the basketball world, McCollum is considered a prime example of hard work, dedication, and high IQ with God-gifted hype. Keep watching our content by clicking on the video that appears on your screen now.